Yeah, I tried cutting my dad's hair naman, kuya. Don't worry. Drop throw. Wait, like this? <laughs> hey guys, it's Jessica here and welcome to the fourth episode of our Trabao series. Today we're going to try something relatively new from what we have been doing. I'm going to be a barbershop staff for a day. Hair care remains as an important part of a person's well-being. That's why barbershops and salons continue to thrive in the Philippines and elsewhere. But more than the importance of hair care, Filipino barbershops have become something sort of a sanctuary, a place where you can relax and pamper yourself. In the Philippines, barbershops are everywhere. The malls, commercial establishments, and streets where local barbers set up their own small businesses. Whereas compared to Korea, there are more beauty salons than barbershops nowadays. This difference was partly one of the reasons why I've always been curious about barbershops in the Philippines. Today, I finally feed that curiosity as I will be working under the care of Nuevo Barbershop, where their business is centered on their customers, Suki, a regular customer, and their staff, and they aim to help small business owners. Just like the previous businesses we featured, Nuevo Barbershop has also utilized the power of social media, showing their audience the care and passion they put into every single haircut. Hi, my name is John, and I am the owner of Nuevo Guadalupe Branch Barbershop. Hi, I'm John Mark. I'm the co-founder of Nuevo Barbershop. I started the Nuevo Guadalupe Branch so five months ago. I franchise ako sa brother niya. Five years na po siya. Nag-start kami sa garahe lang. Nag-suggest yung kapatid namin, magtayo na lang tayo ng sarili nating barbershop. Hindi rin namin nakalain na magbo-boom siya. Six branch na po yung Nuevo Barbershop. Siya range siya mm. ng 400 to 600. Depende kasi sa laki, sa package na kukunin mo. Ito naman sa shop, daily is 2,500 to 3,000. Uh, pag ma matumal na days, pag umuulan, mga 1,500. Absolutely na. Pang long term talaga ang mga barbershop. Which is good. Actually, kasi post-pandemic, bumabalik na normal na buhay ng mga tao. Mabagal yung return of investment, pero stable siya pag na-establish mo. Kasi kaming mga lalaki, pag nagpapagupit yung loyalty namin sa barbershop, hindi naaalis. Babalik at babalik ang customer, at dadami at dadami siya. I'm honestly like <laughs> very nervous because like, it's very new. It's not something that I, I don't go to barbershop. It's actually my first time in barbershop. So I don't know how it's going to be, but I know barbershops are still a very prevalent and famous culture, part of the Philippine culture. So let's go ahead and be a barbershop staff. Hello. Hi. I'm going to be working here. Who's, who's my boss today? Well, technically, that would be me. I'm the Oh, okay. What's your name again? My name is Renz. Renz. Yep. Okay. What do I have to do today? Well, first I'll be yeah. teaching you here with, at the cashier. Oh, okay. And then uh, later on you'll be shadowing one of our barbers. Mm. And that's the So I'll start by introducing the team. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. So right here is Mao, one of our barbers. Hello, so, Mao. Okay. How many barbers? Mao, we have two. Ron? Yeah. Ron is the one with the red hat. Oh, okay. Hi, Ron. So, then we have the Hi, J.M. J.M. Jacob. Jacob. Okay, okay. No, you don't know him? No. <laughs> Do you guys uh, know each other? I just, I'm just a little bit nervous. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So, to get you started, let me just yeah. uh, get you your room. Oh, wow. Yeah, but first. But have you ever had a, like a female staff here? Actually, no. Oh, You'll so be the first. I'm the first? Yes. But do you think it's gonna be okay, Naman? Yeah, sure. A shirt and an apron. Okay, okay. <laughs> So Jessica, let me give you a brief uh, explanation of our services that we offer. Okay, so okay. first would be our Nuevo Signature. Uh, basically, here, cut lang siya with a blow dry and then we uh, finish it with a pomade. This one, our uh, water-based pomade. And then we have a four kinds. Wow, dami kinds pala yung pomade. Yeah, madam talaga siya. Mm. So I only know the bench one. Why everyone uses that, huh? The bench one. Everyone smells the same. Okay, it's a smell. It's really good. Mm. Oh, it's better than bench. So, and then we have George Clooney. George Clooney! Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Oh. So, our packages uh, are consist of like uh, act, movie ah, stars. Ah, I love George Clooney. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. So, yeah. are you gonna look like George Clooney after the haircut? Yeah. Technically, yeah. yes. Oh, okay, 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 let's see. So, for the George Clooney, a haircut, and then they'll do rinse and shampoo. Mm. Then, they will give you a massage. Oh! And then, a hot towel. Massage? Para sa where? Well, hair, scalp, scalp, face, and then face. Face? Yeah. 
a little bit of the face, you know? Oh, grab to it. Stimulate, to stimulate like the beard and everything. Ah, uh, to make it look like George Clooney. Yeah. Ah. Couple of here. Ah, okay, okay, guys. When got you it. come out of the shop, look huh? like a new man. Ah, <gasps> oh, with yeah. George Clooney. And then John Wick. Yeah. Oh. And that John Wick is like a uh, George Clooney, but with the additional of the beard shape. Mm. Yeah. How about John Kennedy? JFK. JFK the, wow, okay. Yeah. So why why the most expensive that one? Because <laughs> this one includes a hair color treatment. Ah. Yeah. Okay, good price. Okay. And then we have the uh, haircut with hair tattoo. Hair tattoo is like you put some artwork on your hair. Usually we just put a line. Ah, a clean line like that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know that's really trendy in the Philippines. Yeah, yeah. Or like they cut the bottom part, like just yeah, tape the bottom part. Or yeah, yeah. What? So what's the best seller? Our best seller is George. Clooney. George Clooney. Yeah. Mm. So for example, right here, it's going to bring out the lag booth. So I'll keep, this is his name. This is mm -hmm. the time that he came. Mm -hmm. This is very careful. So I just put number three. So ah. I won't get confused if there's like a lot of uh, customer already. Ah, so you're the one who's like marking who did who like that? Yes. Ah. Good afternoon. Hi, afternoon. Okay, so you can come to Guayaron. Is he your su suke? Yes. Ah. Good afternoon. Po. Good afternoon. So this is hair cut and shampoo, right, Guya? Yes. Paano mag ano mag cut, Guya? Razor. Razor, okay. Kasi para mas mabilis. Para mas mabilis. Are you ever gonna use the gunting? Nope. Not even. Pag gunting, kasi mam medyo matikman ko, matagal. Oh, ano yung like the number? What's the difference? Number one. It's one. It's um, a it's a thinnest one, right? Ah, uh, uh, bali kasi ano siya? Uh, parang pa fade lang siya. Mmm. Ah, so it's getting shorter and shorter, parang ganon. Ah, see you, Bob. Right. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I tried cutting my dad's hair, naman kuya. Don't worry. Cuatro. Wait, like this. <laughs> she told me that with great power comes great responsibility. Oh! <laughs> okay, you finish, you finish. What would be the general name for this haircut? Pompadour. Pompadour? Yes. Oh, that's actually a name. Everyone knows that? Oh, okay, okay. So when you see someone, oh, that's pompadour cut, you know. Oh, okay, okay. So Jessica, when uh, Ron is doing some uh, yeah. haircut, we actually can uh, actually sweep the floor. Okay, okay. Where's the sweep? So we have it right here. Yes, well. Okay, I'll just sweep, sweep. Actually doing a good job. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> actually, this is the only thing I can do here. Alice. Alice? Wallis. Wallis, sorry. Wallis Tambo. Wallis Tinggi. Yes. Wallis. Wallis. Wallis Tambo. Wallis Tambo. Mahaba. Wallis Tambo Mahaba. So what is the name of this? Wallis Tambo. Wallis Tambo. Wallis Tambo. Wallis or Malis? Wallis. Okay. Shampoo. First go. Ah, uh, you wrap it around and you lay them down. Another towel. Oh, you so you cover the eyes and then wash, wash, muna. Uh, Wait, is the water cold? Yes, yeah, cold. Ah, that's a shampoo. Medyo hirapa yung position. That's how quickly you do it, naman. Ah, what conditioner? Are you? Do you put conditioner? Ah, you want conditioner? Bakit yung sa pasok yung conditioner? Because it's not common. Ah. Bira po kasi yung customer po kasi nagpapakondition. After po yun, dandaw po yun. Why don't you turn on the... Ah, dito po. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Like that, di ba? Para magkaano yung ilong na. Ah, sorry! Water temperature, okay? Okay. Galing? Galing? Yeah. Oh, galing daw. <laughs> okay. Gusto mo yung conditioner? Okay lang? Okay, yeah? Okay na po. Gusto mong conditioner o hindi? 
Ah, hindi na, okay. How Kuya Ron did it? Parang baby. Yeah, parang baby. Newborn baby! Malamig lang. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good afternoon! Hello, hello. Gusto mo yung creamer or sugar? Po? Wala na. For example, if we have like a young guest, uh, give them candies. Oh, you have candies? Oh, wow! You want some? Sure, sure, sure. Can I also have one? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I came here to work. All the three chairs are full right now. It's very peaceful just to wash them. <laughs> because obviously, I cannot learn how to cut. Their, or trim their hair just in a day just watching and I also can't be just fooling around or messing around I feel like today I'm just gonna be like sweeping the floor and go home <laughs> because it's also a Monday it's the time when there leaves people usually it's the weekends 4 to 7 p.m. though I kind of had an idea because I used to cut my dad's hair before just once and he didn't like it after I did he went to the salon to cut three cuts so there was no point of cutting it but <laughs> I tried, so I kind of get the vibe, but it's so hard. How's it going, Kuya? Tapos na pa yung gilid natin. Tabagay na po natin sa akin. Oh. Babawasan na lang natin yung ano, yung taas. Oh, the taas. So wait, Ren. Paano? Ito kasi ginagamit ito para nipisan yung, ngayon, mga kanto. I-sample, sample. Babawasan mo na yung kapal niya, hindi ito. Susuot mo muna sa dito. Ah, like that? Ah, sa- Oh. So may, yeah. Sinuklay mo na siya. And then? Where do I go? Are you okay, Kuya? Like this? Then, on top. Ah. Let's go to the bottom. Let's go to the bottom. Let's go to the Where do I cut? It's hard to cut. Don't cut it. Here, here. Pag nakita mo ayun, medyo nababawasan yung kapal. Oh. Hindi siya sobrang dark. Oh. That's the yun, yun ang purpose. Oh. Bilis. <laughs> Bilis. <laughs> After her, that shine. Oh, okay, okay. Almost done. Almost done, na? Almost tapos na? Yes. Tapos na? Oh. A shampoo na? Hmm. Ano kama na? Papa pagka mo mo na siya. Okay. Oh, my baby, my baby powder. Yes. Baby pa kasi siya. Ah, uh, cause you're still baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Pagka tapos ko. Yeah. Ah, uh, tatanggalin mo siya. Oh, you dumbing baby powder. But I'm back to my elementary school days, huh? With baby powder. Okay. Mm. How was it? Like this, diba? Yes. Right? I want more. Yeah. Well, it's so cold. You're gonna be gulat. Okay? <laughs> gulat! I'm just sorry if it goes inside your ears, okay? How's it, Kuya? It's okay. It's okay? Hindi galing? Kuya! Very magaling. Gamagaling. I'm not threatening him, guys. Okay, do you want conditioner, Kuya? Fine. Ah, it's fine. Oh, yeah, actually, your mask. Okay, your mask. Parang professional. Really? Oh, boss, hindi yung hindi natin naturoan yan. Hindi ka nababasa. Bakit sobrang daming razors? What's the purpose? Okay. Iba iba kasi sila ng gamit, so meron tinatawag na dito muna sa basic. Ito, tawag dito, taper blade. Taper blade? Blade. Blade, yeah. Ito, fade blade. So pag taper blade yung ginagamit mo, yan yung pagaya nung gupit ni Jacob na may buhok pa rin. Kasi nag-slide lang siya. Ito, Babyliss Pro. So, 13,000 yung gamit. 13,000 pesos? This one? Oh, 13,000. Renum Series 7. 20,000. Oh, so that's the most expensive. Oh, the razors are actually very expensive. 20K? 13, 20. What's this? Barber's side. What do you... How do you... Then you put the gold in your hair after you put it in. So, this is the tech. You just like put in and then come back. Ah, I this was French press. And then the razor blade, you have to change it all the time? Yes, that's right. Because it's for safety of the customer. Oh. Oh. Ah. 
<laughs> How many kinds of gunting? Iba-iba. Uh, Iba-iba? So this is all yours? Uh, no. Ah. So everyone has their own place. Oh, okay. Kamusta po kayo, ma'am? This is mahaba, di ba? How long does it take, kuya, usually, the whole color dyeing? 35 minutes to 45 minutes. Oh, 35 minutes. Kuya, kuya, I'm kind of like almost done with the trabaho of the day. What, what do you think, um, trabaho ko? Okay naman. Okay naman? Very good. Very good? Very good or okay Pwede naman? Pwede ka na maging hair stylist. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> really? As your assistant na lang. Pwede. Yeah, your assistant. I-shampoo na lang ako at naka-sweep-sweep. Oh. <laughs> How did I do today? Uh, you did a great job. Really? Yeah, yeah. I can re replace my action. Oh, yeah. wow! And if I leave, you replace my job. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Sobra, sobra. Oh, thank you, Kuya. Pero, medyo hindi sobrang kasi hindi full day. Because you close at 9 p.m. Makano pong sahod ko? Oh, really? Ito yung, ito yung salary talaga sa, yeah. para sa staff? Yeah. Wow! Yeah, also, if you sell products, oh, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I saw actually how the actual salary of the barbers and everyone. Okay, thank you so much, Kuya Renz, for today. Thank you, thank you, Jessica, yes. for coming. I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Yes, of course. I, I actually love the vibe. Great! Actually, this was more chill than the other episodes, I guess. What I learned wise and what I realized wise, like, I realized so many things. Yeah, because everything was my first time, as I mentioned, right, or in the intro. So it was like a day of observation, like really observing, yeah. With Trabi, because it was a cafe, so it was more like, and it was like a family-friendly environment. So there were a lot of family members, friends. But here, it's really like, honestly, really in the beginning, I was so nervous. Like, how do I, like, what if it's awkward also because I also don't know how to do anything pa what if it's awkward awkward but then like the vibe of the place is so nice like I love all the kuyas I remember all their names kuya Ren, kuya Ron, kuya Jacob, kuya JM, kuya Mao yeah I really love the vibe of the whole barbershop actually when they complimented me because I was so afraid because especially like the shampooing the hair like I was really nervous honestly like and then they complimented me so I was like yeah I guess that was the most proud part I guess oh, the hardest one because I obviously I couldn't do the cutting and the actual like massage the hardest one would be I guess just the fact that you have to stand stay stood up every day so like it's not so tiring of course there's other episodes physically but the fact that you just keep standing up I guess yeah so actually my first time in the barber shop because barber shops are very uncommon in Korea now so usually it's just salon so male female everyone just goes to salon so barbershop there is, especially before also, like during my dad's and mom's time, it was more common, way more common. Or in the province, I guess it's more common, but nowadays, like even the term barbershop, in Korean it's ibarso, it's very old already. It's like when you say ibarso, that's like you're old. But then here, I was able to see actually barbershop is actually a whole culture here in the Philippines, almost like the interaction and they give massage, they have suki also. Like all these culture, I feel like here it's still a very important part of the culture, especially among men who come to barbershop regularly to cut their hair. No, no, but I want to. I, I, like, cause, you know, the hair, it's so annoying, honestly, if it's long, it's so hot and like, so I really want to cut it. But now I, I'm still afraid because I cannot imagine myself with really short hair yet, but yeah, I would love to. And maybe I'll go to a barber shop because they actually do it, yeah. Now I have so much respect to all the barber shops and it was such a um, humbling experience for me to actually see, observe and learn the whole system behind it. Really, I got to learn how they actually earn money. Everything's actually, they have their own. It's not like a regular salary. I had such a fun time learning and doing the job. So much respect to all the barber shop owners and barbers out there. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next episode. Bye guys! Yes. Walis. Walis. Walis tambo. Mahaba. Walis tambo mahaba.